Hey hello welcome back. Objective for today's video is how to enable Prometheus endpoint in any application. Maybe you have Spring application, Spring Boot application, then how to enable Prometheus monitoring in it and how to expose custom matrix like this. So maybe you already have a Spring project or if you don't have it, I will show you how to create it. You go to startspring.io, select Maven project. Language, I'm using Java, Spring Boot application, you, I can keep it as a default and you can select a group ID and artifact ID, the Prometheus Spring Boot endpoint. From here, you can add a dependency. Here, I will add a Spring dependency because I, I want to expose one REST endpoint. So that's it, generate and I will import this project into my ID. So I am fast forwarding this video and directly opening the Eclipse. So I imported a project into Eclipse and here you can see in my pom.xml I have a spring version and web dependency added. Okay, so you may already have a project like this. Okay, web. You need to do one extra thing to add a Prometheus endpoint or make your application Prometheus enable. You need to add one dependency whose group ID is from official io.prometheus and artifact id is a simple client spring boot okay from the spring boot simple client spring boot okay and for version add 0.0.21 which is a stable version you can use any of this stable version once all the dependencies are resolved go to your main class and check if we have something new annotation available now if i am doing at the red enable Prometheus endpoint you can see it's from client spring boot library which just now we added in the maven dependency that's it and you are done you already enabled Prometheus endpoint in your spring boot application that's one annotation and you are done you will not believe it right so let's try to run the project and check by yourself after that I will walk you through this enable Prometheus endpoint annotation to show how it is working and how it is exposing Prometheus endpoint now it's starting Prometheus server okay the listening on the port 8080 i have already some another project which is running on the 8080 port so i am closing it i am running again okay it's starting you can see it started and here also you can see prometheus is exposed so prometheus is endpoint is exposed as a get so let's try to hit this endpoint go to here in the chrome copy this Prometheus ah you can see error what is error it's unauthorized 401 status we are not authorized to access this endpoint let's go and check out in Eclipse again what is the error we know it's a 401 unauthorized you can see full authentication required to access activator endpoint consider adding spring security or set actually what happened this Prometheus endpoint is a secured because it is going to generate your application related data. So nobody can access your endpoint right publicly. So you need to enable spring security or for a demo project what I am going to do management security enable flag I am going to set it to false. So go to your application dot property here set it to false. Save it stop the project start again. Okay it is started again and expose Prometheus endpoint let's go again and refresh this page you can see now it's a 200 you can see here in the inspect mode you can see here whenever i'm going to run this prometheus endpoint here it's a 200 but the response is null there is nothing in the response so there are two things how just we added one annotation and how prometheus endpoint is exposed and another thing is why i cannot see any of the matrix here so we need to add some custom matrix. We need to add what we need to show here. So this is the second thing and check in the project. We added this import, okay, annotation. So let's check out what is in it. So when I go inside, you can see here, this is the annotation and which has an import with the configuration. So let's check out the configuration class. This configuration class, what it is doing, it's just initializing one bean and which is returning a new object with the collection registry so i go here here you can see in the constructor it is just having the collection registry and one invoke method so whenever somebody is calling this endpoint 
this invoke method is getting called and what this invoke method is doing it is creating an object of string writer and then writing then writing in the text format okay and here you can see this is the metric sample and here what it is returning it is returning with the response okay 200 with a header content type you can see content type new string text plain so let's check out here if I, if I go here it's 200 so let's run again so go to network 200 and if I check the response header you can see content type text plain and version you can see here text plain version 0.0.4 is the same right 0.0.4 character set utf8 this is added from here this line uh, content type this header is added in the response with a 200 and now it will add a body what is the body writer dot two string and what is a writer here this is a writer string writer so whatever you will have in your matrix it will be flush as a text as a string and it will be written whenever you call a Prometheus endpoint in your browser but logically this Prometheus endpoint will be called by your Prometheus server because you are exposing a Prometheus endpoint so that your Prometheus server scrap on this endpoint. So now you understand whenever you are hitting a Prometheus endpoint how you are getting a 200. How adding at the rate enable Prometheus endpoint annotation is exposing slash Prometheus endpoint now the next thing is how to add custom matrix because objective is to add a matrix as this is just a Prometheus endpoint you expose now you need a matrix so that your server can scrap on it right so that I will explain in brief in next class in next video we're planning to expose custom matrix using counter using gauge, using summary, using histogram. So stay tuned. If you don't want to miss that part, then please subscribe my channel and please comment if you want me to create such video in future. Thank you.